Kamal Leslie, working at Health Careers Institute, Kochi. Today, I am here to discuss about an important topic which is very relevant in today's scenario. Yes, we are facing COVID-19, a pandemic condition that affects our respiratory system. Once the patient condition is worsened, we may need to conduct an external device which supports ventilation, that is mechanical ventilator. First of all, we can see what is ventilation. It is nothing else but a process which happens in our body while we breathe in and breathe out. Consider if the patient is not able to breathe normally because of various factors or illness like GB syndrome, trauma or major surgeries. Then we need to provide ventilation externally using a device that is called mechanical ventilator. Now we will say a few things that you need to understand before carrying a patient in ventilator that is basics of ventilator. Almost all ventilators are positive airway pressure ventilators and based on their function it is divided into two types. One is invasive ventilation and the another is non-invasive ventilation. In invasive ventilation we are giving ventilation by the help of a tube. We are using a ET tube or a tracheostomy tube for giving ventilation. And in non-invasive ventilation in the name itself it is given that is non-invasive. We are not inserting any tube. We are giving uh, ventilation by using a mask. So we will uh, keep the mask airtight and with the help of ventilator we will give ventilation. Uh, the example of that is BiPAP and CPAP. One is bi-level positive airway pressure ventilation and continuous positive airway pressure ventilation. So next we will see about the modes of ventilation. According to its function it is divided into two modes. One is volume control mode and another is pressure control mode. In volume control mode, there will be a set, we will set the volume of uh, air that we need to push in a minute. So the volume remains constant. And pressure may uh, pressure request may vary from patient to patient. Next is pressure control mode. In that pressure of the air remains constant. And volume may uh, required may changes from patient to patient. Next we will discuss about different modes that we are using in ventilator. First comes control ventilation, assisted control ventilation, intermittent mandatory ventilation, synchronized inter intermittent mandatory ventilation, and continuous positive air pressure. So this one we are arranged in such a way that the most supporting to least supporting mode. So uh, the first we will discuss about the most supporting mode that is controlled ventilation. Here in ventilation, we have to say that this is controlled ventilation. That is the patient full ventilation control is the ventilator. So in this mode we can set uh, tidal volume set here, respirator rate set here. So our set here is the tidal volume and respirator rate is ventilator breath to work. Okay. So we have to say that we have to say Patient ne spontaneous breath adhika padla. Spontaneous breath ne uh, ventilator support chahi lagna lag. Then next comes assisted controlled ventilation. So here we are getting some assistance in ventilation. But the ventilator rate and uh, tidal volume is set uh, preset. So we have ventilator rate and tidal volume preset is chahi mitna. Pakshe patient ne adhika spontaneous breath adhita karna. The ventilator will support that spontaneous breath. Our spontaneous breath and ventilator support the other positive. Adhan. But in the negative uh, feedback, and uh, here spontaneous breath in a set tidal volume American delivery. Adhan, nama spontaneous breath to start the uh, codal tidal volume patient delivered. So that will lead to hyperventilation. That is respiratory alkalosis to the median chance. Okay. So that, is a, so that is about assisted controlled ventilation. Next we will see intermittent mandatory ventilation. This is the model of tidal volume, respiratory rate, preset. So the ventilator, deliver, uh, ventilator will deliver preset tidal volume and respiratory rate. In case patient has spontaneous side of breath that can start the ventilator will support spontaneous breathing. And we have to assisted control ventilation and full tidal volume and delivery of spontaneous breath. But in this model, spontaneous breath is full tidal volume delivery. So, tidal volume cut out. So, that hyperventilation is a chance. So, a little bit safer mode is spontaneous breath. It is a little bit safer mode is intermittent mandatory ventilation. Next, the next mode is 
सिंक्रोनाइज इंटरमीटेंट मैंडेटरी वेंटिलेशन सो ईर मोडल सिंक्रोनाइज ईर मोडल नमुक टैडल वॉल्यूम रेस्पिटी रेट सैट वे आेश्यंट सिंक्रोणसडाइट स्पोटेनियस रेस्पिशन आमय पेश्यंट रेस्पिटी रेट कुणी वेन्टिलेटर बिल गिव सपोर्ट अब सिंक्रोणस आंक्रोणसडेट सैट वेन्टिलेट ब्रेत को इनके If patient is taking more breath, respiratory rate कोड़े लाना है इंगल, ventilator ने rate कटे इधर, ये patient ने breath ने rate में साथ supporti. And the last is CPAP ventilation. वाला, जो मेन है ना, continuous positive airway pressure, वो airway positive airway pressure length से maintain जी. And the patient can breath in, it's uh, they are on, uh, it's on breath. Patient ने patient ने सोंदम rate इल पेशेंट ने ब्रेड आूरी इंसपिशन इतर पॉसिटीव एयरवे प्रशर मेन अद आलवियोड कोलाव ईर मोड प्रिवेंट दिस् ऑल अब मोड्स ऑफ वेन्टिलेशन प्लस पास यर क्वेरी थ्रू द कम बॉक्स वी हाव फर्दर मोड टू गो टू अवेड दैट प्लस सब्सक्रैब अवर् चानल आोट फॉर्गट प्रेस द बेल थैंक यू